Welcome to the American Dream. I'm Amber Milton, your host, and today I'm going to show you a little slice of mountain paradise and what cabin life in Oakley, Utah is all about. This remarkable cabin in the woods has been completely renovated from top to bottom and offers spectacular views, making it the perfect weekend getaway. with my friend Haley Beckstead, who cold plunges on a daily basis. So we're gonna to talk to her today and see how she got started in this. Haley, what inspired you to jump in the river the first time you decided to cold plunge? That was about two years ago when I first started. I was reading some information about cold plunging and one in particular story was a man that was dealing with a lot of grief that he's going through and he randomly got in some cold water. I mean, obviously it's something that's been going on for hundreds of years, but he wrote about it. And at the time I was experiencing some of my own struggles with addiction and I just needed a minute to not think about what I was dealing with. And so I tried it. So Haley, share with me some of the benefits of cold plunging. Like right off the bat, inflammation it's huge i mean obviously you use ice for anything inflammatory right so submerging fully you're getting a huge inflammatory amount um other things are your dopamine that you're getting the other things are your lymphatic system fires up we're like right off the bat when you get in the cold clear mindedness um you're fully immersed in nature, so like that aspect is just relaxing. Um, other things are your heart rate, like physically, your heart rate, depending on if you're introducing heat, your heart rate will go up and then it goes yeah. down in the cold. You get that dramatic change in your heart rate. Other things you'll notice are your metabolism. You get a huge metabolism boost. So uh, just last question here. So I know you get in the hot tub first to kind of heat up your core before mm -hmm. you get into the river. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now tell me why you don't go back into the hot to warm back up. So part of cold plunging is like, it brings majority of the blood in your body to your core to protect all your major organs. And your body continues to drop in temperature even once you've left the cold. So by submerging into hot immediately right after, yeah. it can shock your system. There's a lot of dramatic things that can happen with your heart and other, even just like the, the, your skin, the way your skin reacts to heat and cold dramatically is just a huge shock. Wow. Um, but there's, you know, that's, that's really where the only negative benefit is, is when you're introdu introducing heat again, you want oh, your body okay. to naturally rise. So then, and then you can introduce heat after about 15 to 20 minutes, but it's okay. that initial, when you're out of the cold and your body continues to drop the four degrees, that's where you, you want it to, because there's benefit in your body naturally rising, especially metabolically. That's a huge part. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Who's ready to cold plunge? Let's go. Yeah. 